Death is the ultimate truth. For death, it does not matter if you like it or not. Death will one day come and take you, me, our loved ones and everyone we see. But the impact of a person's death on others is not universal. For example, when Gandhi died, more than 2 million people attended the funeral. I am sure that same day thousands of other people died too, but we know nothing about them. Similarly, when someone who has a significant impact on our family dies, we feel lost and know not how to continue with our lives. The poem we are discussing in this video is focused on how the death of a great figure in our lives changes us. Hi everyone, this is Roni Dutta from OnlineFreenotes.com. Before we begin the discussion, if you are looking for questions and answers related to this poem, check out the description or visit our website OnlineFreenotes.com, where we provide solutions for different subjects of different classes across different boards in India. With that being said, let's jump into the poem. Maya Angelou's poem, When Great Trees Fall, is a powerful expression of grief and the impact of death. The poem begins with the image of great trees falling, an event so significant that it causes distant rocks to shiver and makes lions hide in tall grasses. Even elephants, which are large and strong, seek safety when these great trees fall. This illustrates the immense impact of such a loss. In the second stanza, Angelo continues the metaphor of great trees falling in forests, causing small creatures to withdraw into silence. Their senses become so overwhelmed that they can't even feel fear anymore. This reflects how, when great souls die, the world around us changes dramatically, and even those who seem insignificant are deeply affected. The poem then shifts to the impact on humans when a great person dies. This can be a great figure for the world like Mahatma Gandhi or a great figure in our lives like a family member. The air around us becomes lighter and barren and we find it hard to breathe for a moment. Our vision becomes clear but painfully so. This clarity forces us to remember kind words that were never spoken and walks that were never taken. This shows the regret and sharp memories that come with death. When great souls die, the reality we know leaves us. Our souls, which depended on their guidance, feel smaller and weaker. Our minds, which were shaped by their wisdom and light, start to tremble. We are not driven mad by this loss, but we feel a deep ignorance as if we are back in dark and cold caves. This conveys the idea that losing a great person makes us feel lost and disconnected from the wisdom they provided. However, after a while peace starts to grow. It comes slowly and unevenly. Our senses come back but they are changed forever. They softly remind us that these great souls existed. They remind us that because these souls lived, we can be better. The repetition of they existed emphasizes the lasting impact of those who have died. It reassures us that their presence continues to influence us, encouraging us to live better lives. The metaphors in the poem are simple yet strong. The falling trees represent the death of important people, and the reaction of animals and small creatures illustrate the wide-reaching impact of such deaths. The air becoming light and sterile, and the dark caves symbolize the emotional and mental state of those left behind. The final image of peace growing slowly and our senses being restored reflects the gradual process of healing and the enduring legacy of those who have died. Angela's poem beautifully captures the deep impact of death and the lasting legacy left behind. It is a reminder that while their absence is deeply felt, their existence continues to inspire and guide us. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for such videos. Do check out onlinefreenotes.com and as always, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.